Hey, what's up everybody? I'm gonna break down isometrics a little bit for you because what I'm seeing is just using load and time as your only two variables for using isometric training on Instagram. You need to up your game a little bit, so here we go. When you're doing isometrics and you're only using weight, you're only using time, think of it as, yeah, you're making a great investment, but it's investment only like in a savings account, right? The long-term growth is very limited, the potential on those exercises have a ceiling, okay? Let's take the ceiling off the isometrics and add much more to it. So that's what I'm gonna to talk to you about real quick. First thing, visual. You're already in a stance. How easy is it for you to incorporate visual drills? And there's so many of them. If you just follow my page, you'll see at least 10 to 15 different types of visual training that you can incorporate with isometrics. It doesn't matter if you're doing a split stance, if you're in a bridge, a back bridge, a single leg movement, it doesn't matter. You could be doing something to train your eyes. Easy one to do. Next, vestibular system. This gets more complicated. I'll give you a basic. Close your eyes. Yeah? Close your eyes during a split stance and get head movement. So I'm taking away both. I'm taking away that visual and I'm challenging the vestibular system. So head movement in different directions, at the very least is an easy one to do, especially during yielding isometrics if you're going for time duration, you're just holding it. Okay, next one, breath. I see too many people holding their breath or no intention with their breath. A lot of you know what I do, um, you don't know how I do it yet, but you can do any kind of breathing technique, but be intentional with it. If you box breathe, fine. Um, I'll use my specific breathing sequence, and that's how I'll incorporate it so I get perturbations with breath during isometrics, right? Challenge your system. Auditory, a ton of research on this as well. Throw your headphones on, put a metronome on, and then incorporate your isometrics. It's that easy. So even if you don't really want to change things because the visual is too hard for you, fine. You have headphones on anyway, now put your metronome app on. Uh, look into some of the research in terms of how many beats per minute you should be listening to. Okay, another relatively easy one. Complex movement patterns. That's why I put a figure eight up there. I'm on a, I'm on a back bridge, so I'm working my posterior chain for isometrics. I can easily incorporate some figure eight movements with my arm. That's going to light up my cerebellum. There's so many things you could be doing to, to enhance other parts of your system in terms of brain function in terms of motor, motor programming, right? That's an easy one. Okay, last one I'll give you, perturbations of some sort. That's why you see me a lot of times using the aqua ball, the aqua bag, so that I can stay in a split stance and I can move the water around being able to have to react to that, the task in hand and specifically environment changes in terms of the water perturbating throughout. Okay, so I've given you a handful Start incorporating a little by little when you're doing your isometrics, okay?